Good morning. My name is Leanne Mao. Have you guys ever been asked to do something and at the time it seems like a really good idea and like, yeah, I can do that. And then as the time gets closer, you're like, why? Why did I say I would do this? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> um, my faith story is highly personal, um, but I will start out by saying I grew up in a really small country church in Brainerd. The church was called Bethel Lutheran. My parents and several others reopened the church as it had been closed for several years. This group held many work nights at the church, and as a kid, I remember playing in the cemetery with the other kids and being afraid of all the bats that were flying around, scared they were going to get in my hair. As someone, told, someone once told me, bats like long hair. I think growing up in that church, and because of the work that we all did, we, we had some level of ownership. It was ours. It was a small church. Everyone knew each other. Everyone had their own pew. When you were gone, no one sat in your pew. When we were confirmed, the whole congregation celebrated with us. And as a ninth grader, getting cards and money, emphasis on the money from everyone was super awesome. In ninth grade, I became the church pianist and really enjoyed doing that. I continued to play through college and did many weddings and funerals. Church has always been a part of my life. I don't remember a time when it wasn't. It was where I made some of my first friends, where I learned some really important life lessons, like how to work as a team, how to build relationships with people not exactly like yourself, and how to sometimes let go and let God. This lesson was never so critical to me as when my husband and I were planning a family. When you decide to have children, it never enters your mind that getting pregnant might not be easy. My husband and I took the journey into infertility, and I struggled deeply with the intervention of it all. I struggled with the medication, the pills, the shots, the sheer schedule demand of it all, timed ultrasounds, timed blood tests, none of which could be done here. Um, so it required several trips to Fargo for absolutely every test. I didn't own my schedule any longer, and it felt like one of the most private things, my own body, was not my own. As I struggled more and more, I sought counsel in Pastor Wade, who helped me see that intervention was maybe not such a bad thing. People who have hip and knee surgeries relied on medical intervention. People who had heart surgery rely on medical invention, and God plays a part in all of that. Throughout this infertility journey, never have I relied on my faith more. Truly, there were two times, once with each of our kids, that I felt God's presence, and the message both times was, let go, let me, I've got this. Fear of healthy kids and fear of if we were doing the right thing had completely crippled me. Feeling his presence helped me move forward and trust we were on the right path. And today, we have two healthy, build healthy beautiful kids for which I will never take for granted. Thank you.